In this video, we provide the solution to question number five from practice exam number three for math 1210. We're asked to compute the derivative of e to the x times the natural log of x. You'll notice that there is a product of two functions going on here, so we need to use the product rule. So this is gonna look like e to the x prime times the natural log of x plus e to the x times the natural log of x prime. So we take the derivative of these things separately. The derivative of e to the x is itself, so we get e to the x times the natural log of x. Even though the natural exponential and the natural log are inverses of each other, when you multiply them together, the inverse function property does not apply. That only applies when we compose them. So there's no simplification we can see there yet. For the next one, we're gonna get e to the x. Then we get the derivative of the natural log, which was one over x. And so let's look to see what we can find. Um, I don't see that as an exact answer, but notice if you factor out the e to the x, you'll get e to the x times one over x plus the natural log of x. So the sum's in a different order and they factor the e to the x, but it is equivalent to the derivative we just computed. So the correct answer is f.